Tesla continues to establish a leading position in Norway, while in China, the company recalled 21,500 Model Y vehicles due to front and rear steering knuckle issues. According to official sources, Tesla Model Y long-range RWD will not happen. The reservation holders received a message from Tesla in their owners' accounts, suggesting that they change the order. Elon Musk said on Monday that the U.S. Congress should not approve the Biden administration's bill to increase subsidies for electric vehicles. The CEO is selling Tesla shares but is buying more than selling. Therefore, he increased his holdings of Tesla's shares during the high-profile sale. Finally, we haven't heard much about FSD beta recently, although version 10.6 seems to have left a deep impression on beta testers. Welcome to Technopool, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon to get updated with Tesla, Elon Musk, and everything about the EV industry. Tesla is continuing to consolidate its leading position in Norway. According to the latest data from the Norwegian Road Traffic Information Council, Tesla Model Y and Tesla Model 3 were the two best-selling cars in the country in November, making Tesla the best-selling car brand in the world. Competition in the electric cars market is fierce. The Model Y was the best-selling car in Norway in November, selling 1,013 units during the month, according to OFV information. The Model 3 was second with 771 units solid, and the Volkswagen ID.4 came in third with 725 units sold. For electric car manufacturers, Norway is arguably the most challenging market in the world. The concentration of passenger vehicles has mostly shifted to electric power systems. Zero emission vehicles accounted for 64.2% of the market share in 2021 and 73.8% of sales in November alone. So far, gasoline engines accounted for only 4.4% of the total car sales in Norway in 2021, while diesel engines accounted for 4.1%. As we all know, the Norwegians may be the most committed to the transition to electric vehicles. In September, Tesla also occupied a similarly dominant position in the Norwegian car market. That month, Model Y and Model 3 won first and second place respectively. Sales were slightly higher. Model Y sold 3,564 units in September. That month, Model 3 sold 2,218 units. These numbers are likely to increase considerably over the next several months, with sales figures being consistently higher in the coming years. Tesla is set to launch a new manufacturing plant in Germany later this month, with approval being labeled as imminent, according to a recent report. Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin facility will produce the Model Y for the European market, where electric powertrains, especially in crossover body styles, have been increasingly popular over the past few years. Tesla will not be the only car company to benefit from the widespread adoption of electric vehicles in Europe. Volkswagen, the second best-selling brand in Norway after Tesla in November, will also begin to see the benefits of a timely transition to electric vehicles. Volkswagen is arguably the most committed mass-market automotive entity in terms of electrification, neck and neck with American company Ford. Tesla still holds a considerable lead in the sector, but the battle for second place is certainly heating up. In November, Norway registered a total of 11,274 new zero-emission vehicles. OFV statistics show that zero-emission vehicles accounted for 64.2% of the market share in 2021, and 73.8% of November sales were environmentally friendly cars. Tesla China has recalled 21,559 domestic Model Y vehicles due to failures in the front and rear steering knuckles of the vehicle. This recall covers locally manufactured Model Y produced between February 4 and October 30, 2021. Tesla filed a recall plan with the state administration for market regulation. From now on, some domestically made Model Y electric vehicles with a production date between February 4, 2021 and October 30, 2021 will be recalled, a total of 21,599 units. For some vehicles within the scope of this recall, due to supplier manufacturing reasons, the strength of the foot and rear steering knuckles may not meet the design requirements. The steering knuckle may be deformed or broken during the use of the vehicle, and the suspension link may fall out of the steering knuckle under extreme stress conditions, which affects the driving and control of the vehicle, increases the risk of collision accidents, and poses safety hazards, an announcement about the Model Y recall read. It is not clear whether the number of Model Ys announced in this recall only counts for cars sold in the Chinese domestic market, or whether it already counts for vehicles shipped abroad. After all, the Shanghai Data Factory is Tesla's main car export center, and the plant has been shipping Model 3 and Model Y to regions such as Europe and Asian countries for a year.
With this in mind, it seems safe to assume that part of Tesla's model Y exported to foreign countries may have faulty front and rear steering knuckles. Having said that, it is well known that Tesla has responded fairly quickly to car recalls, so it would not be surprising if the company releases more detailed information about the affected China-made model Y shipped to other countries. Vehicle recalls are commonplace among automakers, although Tesla has a slight advantage in solving some vehicle problems through wireless software updates. This is what the company did in China earlier this year, when it was asked to introduce an audible tone to alert drivers that the traffic sensing cruise control system was being activated or deactivated. The recently announced front and rear steering knuckles recall is a hardware fault, however, which means that Tesla would have to fix its vehicle's issues the old-fashioned way. Tesla has officially eliminated the possibility of Model Y long-range rear-wheel drive models entering production. Earlier this week, the company updated the Tesla owner's account with this vehicle reservation and advised them to change the order. In February 2021, Tesla Roddy revealed that the Tesla Model Y long-range RWD configuration would not go into production, a move that shocked many people who booked the vehicle. Tesla employees told us that the automaker has no plans to put this variant into production. At the time, the reason was unclear. CEO's Elon Musk later revealed that Tesla's product line has reached an overly complex level. Musk is right. In less than two years, Model Y has become Tesla's best-selling vehicle, and there is no long-range rear-wheel drive version. However, there is still some hope. Tesla usually adjusts its product line and can immediately announce the addition of new variants. See how Tesla revealed that Cybertruck will have a quad motor variant, which was announced a few days ago. In February, when Tesla told us the long range RWD variant of the Model Y would not be built, the company did state that owners would be able to keep their full self driving price at the time of their reservation. For many of these reservation holders, it was $7,000. The price is currently $10,000, and it is unknown if Tesla will honor the FSD price now that long range rear wheel drive Model Y owners are going to have to choose another variant of the car. Tesla will soon produce Model Y at its Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. Model Y is currently produced at the company's Fremont factory in Northern California and Gigafactory Shanghai in China. Although the Model Y variant currently includes two all-wheel drive options, it is not surprising that Tesla has also canceled any plans for the long-range RWD variant of the all-electric crossover. Tesla canceled the standard range rear wheel drive variant of the Model Y in the United States in February as well. Tesla still manufactures that vehicle in the Chinese market. CEO's Elon Musk said on Monday that the US Congress should not approve the Biden administration's bill to increase subsidies for electric vehicles, saying that the bill would exacerbate the country's budget deficit. The billionaire entrepreneur is escalating criticism about the administration and Democrats for a proposal to give union-made, US-built electric vehicles an additional $4,500 tax incentive. Tesla and foreign automakers do not have unions at their US factories. Honestly, it might be better if the bill doesn't pass. Musk said at the WSJ CEO Council Summit. I'm literally saying get rid of all subsidies, he said, adding that the government should I think just try to get out of the way and not impede progress. He also reiterated opposition to a proposal by Democrats to tax billionaires. It does not make sense to take the job of capital allocation away from people who have demonstrated great skill and give it to, you know, an entity that has demonstrated very poor skill in capital allocation, which is the government. Musk also said his brain chip startup, Neuralink hopes to begin human trials next year pending approval of the US Food and Drug Administration. I think we have a chance with Neuralink of being able to restore full body functionality to someone who has a spinal cord injury. Elon Musk has sold a large number of shares in his company in the past few weeks. And yet he owns 564,000 more shares than he did at the start of the selling spree. An analysis of his filings shows Musk is not backing away from his foldings in Tesla, despite his promise to follow a poll he sent to his Twitter followers, who called on him to sell 10% of his stake. So far he's sold 10.1 million shares, about 7 million shares short of the goal. That's because while he is selling the stock, he is also exercising the option to buy additional stock. He did so at a cost-effective strike price of $6.24 per share, which is well below 1% of Tesla's current share price. Since Musk conducted a poll on Twitter on November 6, he has exercised his option to buy 10.7 million shares of Tesla. What needs to be clear is that he will do this regardless of whether he conducts a poll if he does not exercise these options, they will expire in August 2022. Whenever he exercises options, he will be affected by huge income taxes because he uses these options as his main form of compensation. 
The new shares he has purchased since November 8 owe approximately $5 billion in federal income taxes. He may also owe some state taxes. The documents show that Musk specifically sold Tesla shares to make up for tax losses. Musk also plans to exercise additional options that will expire next year. He still has 12.2 million shares of expiring options that have not yet been exercised. If according to past practice, he will sell approximately 5.3 million newly purchased shares to pay his taxes. But this will still allow him to hold nearly 7 million more shares than today. Musk will retain most of the shares he acquired instead of selling them, all as other executives are known to exercise when exercising options, including Tesla chairman Robin Denho. Once he's done with these soon-to-expire options, Musk will have 22.9 million fewer options than he had at the start of this process, but he'll still have 50.7 million other options that will allow him to buy that many additional shares, albeit at a higher exercise price than options he is now purchasing. He's not likely to exercise them soon, as virtually none of those options will expire until January of 2028. The number of options Musk holds may increase significantly in the coming year. Once the company reaches specific financial performance and market value goals, Musk's compensation plan aims to provide him with 12 different options. The company is now worth $1 trillion and the market value target has been fully completed, so this is a question of whether the revenue and profit targets are met. Tesla has accounted for three additional blocks of 8.4 million options, each going to Musk soon, for a total of 25.3 new options, more than making up for the ones he is in the process of exercising. Company filings state that it is probable that the needed financial targets will be achieved soon. The analyst agrees. According to popular predictions from Wall Street, Musk may be eligible for 8.4 million options in the fourth quarter's results, and two more options in the first quarter of 2022. If the analyst's estimates are correct, he may receive an additional 8.4 million options in the second or third quarter of 2022 and another blog in early 2023. Tesla's full self-driving beta version 10.5 just started to get our attention, and now, version 10.6 has arrived. It seems that while 10.5 was the best version yet, which is to be expected if the technology is actually improving, 10.6 is already bringing positive attention to Tesla's controversial advanced driver assist system. It seems as if the chatter surrounding Tesla's full self-driving beta technology has finally subsided, not only from the testers themselves, but also from the media and various organizations. This may be considered positive because it may mean that there are no big surprises. That is, unless there is a problem with the FSD beta update, we may not hear or see much about it after the first release of this version. Every few weeks, Tesla will improve and update the software and promote it to a large number of Tesla owners who have been selected for testing. Tesla's FSD beta 10.6 was only enabled for a short time. However, so far, it is clear that the latest version is much better than all previous versions for a variety of reasons, although we will have to wait for the testers to start posting videos and sharing their impressions. What we know is that Tesla focused on vision, object detection, and vehicle motion accuracy in the 10.6 update. Obviously, if these areas are significantly improved, it will help make the car more stable and confident, which will also make beta testers more confident in the capabilities of the technology. Tesla released FSD beta version 10.6 internally on Friday, December 3, 2021. It must have been free of any significant issues because it started rolling out to the testing fleet over the weekend. That's all for this video about Tesla and thank you for watching. If you'd like to receive more updates make sure you click the subscribe and bell icon and leave a comment because it really matters.